Welcome to Bonifab Custom. Today, we're gonna to be building a smoker. If anyone knows me, I love smoking meat and barbecue, and it is the season for barbecue. So, I'm gonna show you step-by-step step how to take this 100-pound propane tank and make it into an awesome smoker. Let's get right into it. So we have this old propane tank. Now, this has been empty for a long time, but if you're using a, a propane tank that you just picked up or bought, please make sure that there is no propane in it, first of all. Secondly, we're gonna open up the top part of this valve. We're gonna unscrew it and do this outside in the open air. Don't do it in a, in a closed garage or something. We'll open that up, make sure there's no, air, no propane in there, and then we'll take off the main body. We'll unscrew that. And after we do that, we're gonna fill it up with water. And what that's gonna do is gonna force any propane that's inside there or vapors out. And then we'll make our first cut to make sure there's nothing in there. But we'll do it with it filled with water. So let's get this valve off and start filling with water. So now that we have the whole tank filled with water, it's safe to cut. So we're gonna first of all cut off this ring and then we're gonna cut a hole for the exhaust which is four inches by eight inches. So let's do that now. Now the exhaust hole is done, let's dump the water out. At this stage, where we cut off the, back, the bottom ring and we opened up the opening on this side for the exhaust, I have it now propped up on a vise. I strapped it down and I leveled it because now I'm gonna put a couple of rails on the bottom and I'm gonna start fitting up the legs of this smoker. Then I can take it off and onto its legs itself and I can start finishing the rest of the parts of the smoker. So let's put the rails on and get some legs on and some ports all welded up. Now we have our legs welded all up. They're all in place. And if you notice, one side of the legs is actually two inches shorter than the other. And the reason for that is we're gonna make some wagon style wheels and they're gonna be made out of this uh, 10 inch diameter tube that I cut about a one inch uh, in thickness. And I'm gonna take these, I'm gonna weld in some spokes with a bushing in the inside and we're gonna weld on an axle. We're gonna weld in some, uh, you could use threaded rod. I'm gonna use some, some uh, bolts and we're gonna cut the heads off. And we'll put those in, making that the bottom of the wheel is about two inches lower than that side there. So it all evens out. So let's weld up some wheels and then weld them to our smoker.
got the wheels all welded up. They look pretty nice. We have an axle cut. So this is 20 inches long. And these are our bolts that we're gonna put inside. So how we're gonna do this, we're gonna drill a hole on the side of this axle. And I'm gonna weld the axle onto the frame. Once it's on there, I'm gonna put the bolt through and that hole is gonna expose the side of the bolt. And because of that, I can weld it. So I'm gonna give that a weld and then those wheels would be fixed inside and they roll pretty good. Okay, so let's drill a hole inside the axle and then weld the axle on and start welding these bolts on to the smoker with the wheels. We have the frame all done. We have our wheels on. Now we're gonna put some expanded metal, metal on the bottom, like a shelf. And then we're gonna work on the front part. So we're gonna put a handle here so we can roll it around easier. And then we're gonna start building our chimney or our stack. <laughs> We're going to use this three by three tube, which is uh, three feet long. We're going to use this as our smokestack. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to cut out or notch out the width of this um, in, uh, exhaust, which is four inches. So I'm going to notch this and this out. And I'm going to tack it on the plate that I put, the base plate on an angle like this, on a 45 degree angle. And then I'm gonna fill in these two spots and the top with some 1 8 sheet metal. And we'll weld all the, that up. And we'll make a little stack baffle that operates down here on a handle and we'll weld all that together. So let's do that. <laughs> So out of some 1 8 sheet metal, I cut out this three by three piece that's gonna be the shutoff for my stack or the baffle. And I made this little arm that has a 90 on the top and on the bottom. This will be my handle for turning it on and off. And I made some bushings out of some tubing. And I'm gonna weld this 
just on there, weld it so I can open and close the back one. There you have it, it's all welded up. Turns really nice. Next part, we're gonna open up the door and we're gonna make the cutout for the actual firebox and then we're gonna build the firebox and attach it. So let's start with opening the door. So now we're gonna open up the door of the smoker and I like to use masking tape to line myself up and to draw out where the door location is. And the reason I do that is because the masking tape can be stretched over uh, different contours. So it works well for me. So after we do that, we're gonna wanna cut open the door. And I used to use a plasma cutter to do this, but these tanks, because they're painted, unless they're really stripped of paint, they, they smoke a lot, especially with the plasma. And then I don't like to use grinder because it causes too much dust. So I like to use these double bladed uh, cutters it's like a grinder with this double blade and the double blade actually makes it um, not wander too much as I'm cutting it looks dangerous but it actually doesn't move around around a lot even a grinder on a normal grinding wheel tends to want to uh, kick back if you get it jammed this type of grinder actually doesn't and it's worked very well for me it doesn't cause smoke and it cuts into 3 sixteenths like butter. So now we'll take this and start cutting into our tank. top of the tank I added a hinge and that hinge is gonna help it from warping and I'll cut the whole top and then I'll add another hinge as I have these two hinges welded in then I can cut the two sides and then the bottom and this tends to work out very well for me it doesn't um, warp the door too much so it keeps it in place and then the, the hinges are done the door opens and closes then we're gonna take it and we're gonna start grinding some of the paint off because we're gonna put the metal hint, the metal seals all the way around the door and then we're gonna put a little handle for the door itself and then we're done with the actual tank itself. Now that we have the smoker all ground where the door is, we're gonna put trim around the door and the trim is gonna help seal off to keep the smoke in. And we use this one eighth by inch and a quarter uh, flat bar, or you can have it sheared inch and a quarter, uh, one eighth. And we're gonna start off first with doing the bottom piece of the trim here, or the seal. And we're gonna tack that in place. And this will help it line up the rest of, uh, the, rest of the trim that we put on. Because now that the bottom would be on, it would sit in the right position and then we could put the rest in, in there. So let's start welding all the trim on and then we'll weld on a little handle also.
So the door is all done. The seal fits nice. After we weld up the whole thing, we're gonna take this seal and we'll hammer it down and make sure it seals real nice against the, the main body. But hinges work good, nice handle. Next thing I like to do is do the rack um, frame on the inside of the tank. So we're gonna weld up some uh, bar on the inside as support. We'll weld that all along and finish that off. And then we'll be um, then it'll be time for us to start cutting the cutout for the firebox. ready to mark up for the cutout of the tank for the firebox and I used to mess around with um, trying to get that angle straight but I don't do that anymore I use a laser like this and I level it to the tank itself and this laser puts a nice line for me so I can just outline where that line has to go cut it and it fits perfectly Now we have our firebox opening all cut out. I cut some quarter inch flat sheet metal and how big the firebox I'm going to make on here is about 18 inches wide, 12 inches in depth and 12 inches tall. And I'm going to start off first with a back plate and the back plate I'm going to put a four inch cutout or a hole, I'm gonna use my plasma cutter to cut this out. And then I'm gonna weld a four inch inner diameter tube on that hole. And that's gonna be kind of like my chimney that's gonna go inside the smoker itself. So let's cut that out and then start welding the firebox all together. I drill a 3 8 hole and I have this stainless steel 3 8 diameter and it goes in like that and then I use these $5 candy thermometers which are awesome very accurate and they go like that that's 
perfect. I'm just gonna weld that from the inside. So now it's welded in there. The candy thermometer just goes in like this. Lift it up. The little clip that it comes with. On like this. And, and it just stays just like that. Smoker's all done. It's been a long two days. I'm gonna sand this thing down and then give it a painting with some high temp paint and then I'll start up the fire and burn off whatever's inside there and then it'll be ready for smoking. Thank you everyone for watching Bonifab Custom as we built this awesome smoker out of the propane tank. If you have any questions, don't hesitate to ask in the comments. Thank you for all your support and don't forget to subscribe. We'll see you later.